What's up guys? Welcome to this week's prep update. I believe this is prep week number six. The cold and the roses never bloom. Um, you guys, I'm going to be honest, I'm really, really amazed at how quickly things are coming along this time around. I'm going to talk more about that with this video because I have a few questions that I wanted to do, like a slight, like a small Q&A type of video, but I'm going to overlay today's workout because I also had somebody ask about my leg workout. On this prep at least, I don't have, I don't have a super rigid split as far as Monday is back, Tuesday is biceps, Wednesday is shoulders. I don't have that type of split, which is different for me. I'm just going to show you guys today's workout. There are more leg exercises incorporated into it, so I guess this day would be one of my more um, leg intensive days, and I do uh, two days like this. Mostly leg exercises, but I've got deadlifts, dumbbell press, leg extensions, uh, hip thrusts, dumbbell RDLs, seated calves, and I throw in some pull-ups in there too. So I'm going to overlay the footage while I answer the questions. And what I did is as I was going through YouTube comments, whenever I would get interesting questions or things that I thought other people might ask or might want to know about, um, I wrote it down. So these are just kind of an accumulation of questions from the past few prep vlogs and a few from Instagram. Um, and I am feeling a lot better as far as physically. I think it definitely is allergies. I still have a lot of congestion. You can hear it in my voice. But as far as how I feel, I feel great. I feel back to normal. I just have trouble talking now. So let's get to it. Let's get to this Q&A and the workout. All right, first question. Do you change workouts to focus on anything as you get closer? So as far as workouts go, they are going to change a little bit leading up to the show, but it's mostly cardio and my calorie intake that's going to change. We don't necessarily have to change my workouts a ton because the the split that I'm on or the current program that I'm on has a good balance of basically all body parts to be worked, but with an emphasis on back, shoulders, and glutes and hamstrings, because those are the, the areas of my body and then of basically figure competitors in general that are usually lacking. So whenever you are competing in figure, they're looking for a good, it's called a V taper. And what that means is you've got a wider shoulder and back area that brings in the illusion of a smaller waist and then a good glute and, and hamstring development. So whenever you are in that back pose, you can see the actual glute and hamstring muscles, which is very, very difficult for women, uh, especially uh, to bring out, because that's usually where we store our fat and most of it. Um, so as far as the workouts, we might focus a little bit more on higher volume, and so that's more reps or more sets. So just keeping the volume up to focus on fatiguing the muscles, um, keeping the blood in the muscles, and hypertrophy, which is muscle growth. But whenever you are in a deficit, it's a lot harder to build muscle. Basically, we're just looking to maintain as much as we can um, while I'm continuing to lose body fat because we don't want to lose muscle as well. Is your body reacting similarly to how it did in the last preps, i.e. losing fat from the same areas, uh, and leaning out. So actually, I've been talking about this a bit on my Instagram. My body is reacting differently this time around, and it's in a good way. So the first couple weeks of my prep, I feel like my body dropped fat so quickly and a lot faster than I have in my last two preps. I'm not 100% sure why, but it could be that I spent a longer time in a caloric surplus, so eating more than my maintenance calories, because I took about a year and a half off, and staying in a surplus for most of that year and a half, versus 
my after my first show, I think I took maybe six months off and then jumped into another prep. So I think maybe because my body was able to recover so much more, that probably helped. Um, I would also go out and say that what I'm eating now, um, since I'm eating a vegan diet, uh, I think that my body responds better, to be honest. I, I definitely think that I can stay leaner while eating more food now. Um, and of course this isn't something that is, I, I have a bunch of scientific studies to back me up on. This is just going from my experience and how I feel. So I definitely think that my body is responding differently this time around in a good way. I think it's leaning out a lot faster than it has in the past. And so essentially it's making this prep a little bit easier. That's not to say that I'm not working really hard every single day and being consistent, but taking this consistency and this amount of hard work and comparing it to my previous two preps, I think that my body is responding better. Um, so that could be said for, I possibly due to body composition changes, having more lean muscle now, uh, what I'm eating, I don't know. But yes, it, I think it is responding a lot better than it has in the past. Do you prefer the calorie drop or more cardio? I honestly prefer more cardio. I would be okay with working out more versus eating less and um, I think that some people would rather do the opposite, but I don't mind being at the gym. Um, I am lucky enough so that I work uh, for myself so that I can make my schedule fit into splitting up my workout into two bits per day so I can actually come back twice if I need to. So I don't mind adding in some more workout time if that means being able to eat a little bit more for a little bit longer. Um, I don't know how my coach is going to continue to change things as we go along, but, you know, I'm definitely just, I'm going to do what she tells me. But at this point, my calories are still at a good point. I'm doing more cardio than I did in my last prep, but I don't mind because, again, my body is responding differently. So, I mean, of course, that could be a factor as well. So, yeah, I prefer more cardio to, to less food for sure. And this last question I wanted to get Matt's opinion on because I thought it was an interesting question. No way. Yes. So the question, do you find it sexist that you have to wear pumps, pumps, pumps. to compete or is it just the way it is and everybody's cool with it? There always seems to be that need for sexy when it comes to women's sport competitions. Well, it's really hard to change people's minds. Wow, I'm already jumping into this one. So, uh, yeah, and it's good to take steps. I mean, just like with, you know, us becoming vegan and all that, uh, a lot of people like steps, and so we form our foods to make it look like other foods, right? So same thing with this kind of thing. And so not only are we starting to move towards that direction where it's almost not, I wouldn't say equal yet, but uh, they added physique, what, three years ago? Mm-hmm something like that so physique was just added and they of course still have boops for everything else but again that's that's one step towards that but it also I mean I'm sure a lot of a lot of women probably like that maybe they think they look sexy that kind of thing you know so uh, not everyone's gonna want to get rid of it so why not keep that and of course it's also part of the tradition part of the history of it so I don't think it should be gone altogether but I do like the uh, movement towards physique I mean I think it's a good direction so good enough is that, You're good, awesome. is that a good answer? So I picked this question because I found it really interesting. I've never really thought about it because 
as it was stated in the original question, it's just kind of the way it is. It's not anything I really questioned, but it makes sense because I'm thinking to myself, so men get to wear their stupid little Speedo that probably costs $50. It's one single color, nothing fancy. Women have to wear heels. We have to wear a sparkly, fancy, expensive suit, uh, jewelry. They expect like makeup and hair to be done. It made me think like, yeah, why do we have to spend so much more freaking money just to compete? As this guy said, a lot of women do like that aspect of it. And I'm not gonna lie, I do like, not the heels, but I do like getting the jewelry and doing my hair and my makeup and, and getting, you know, pretty. It, like, <laughs> pity. Yeah, you're pity. <laughs> Thank you. Pretty I feel pity. <laughs> um, I mean, not that I don't feel pretty on a day-to-day -day basis, but there's just something different about, like... Special. Yeah, it's, special. it's more special. It's, it's a weird concept, but also, like he touched on, physique was... Women's physique was added a couple years ago. You, you don't have to wear the heels, and that's what I like about it, because you focus more on the actual physique versus okay, let me, let me walk in these heels and focus on not falling on my face. I think when it comes to sexism, a lot of that boils down to the individual person and how they feel. Bodybuilding, the sport, is a very subjective sport. You get up there and you're, you're judged on how you look. It's like other sports, performance-based sports, I think that women are held to a different standard than men, and I, I don't think it's necessarily fair how a lot of the time, like if you listen to the commentators on the Olympics, there's a lot of emphasis talking about how women look versus their performance. It's crazy. I don't, I don't necessarily mind the heels too much. Obviously, I don't because I still am competing. Do I think they'll do away with them? No, because women... A lot of women that compete do like to wear heels. I don't know. There's nothing wrong with it. Um, did that answer the question? I think more than they even expected, probably. <laughs> yeah. As far as you flushing out an idea, I think you did it. Yeah. And it's not anything I ever really thought about before, so I appreciate the, the question. Definitely brings up some things to think about. I definitely wish that there was, like, if, if we have to spend so much money on heels and makeup and doing our hair and jewelry i wish that guys had to spend <laughs> the same amount you know not not saying that they need to wear makeup and stuff Some but like bejeweled like like open toe flip-flops balance it out yeah seriously make them spend hundreds and hundreds more on something other than just the suit i don't know yeah, yeah. offer a discount to women because we have to spend so much on it <laughs> i can't complain though because i'm competing so um i think that's going to close out this video for this week. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Of course, I always say if you do have more questions, leave them in the comments below and I'll write them down as we go and I'll do another Q&A in the future. Prep is going well. I am loving this process. I feel good. I'm not crazy, you know, like a, a lot of people you see on prep, right? Oh, you're asking me? <laughs> I hate this. Every <laughs> second of it. <laughs> no, it's, it's fine. I haven't seen any problems. I don't think you've yeah. even noticed it. No, yeah. <laughs> I'm still getting pizza. I'm good. <laughs> all right. Uh, well, on that note. I hope y'all have a great week, and we will see y'all on Monday.